All new at five, another twist in the Cherokee election dispute. It happened when the tribe's Supreme Court ordered election officials to take inventory of absentee ballots and envelopes. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg brings us the latest from Tahlequah. Totals from the absentee ballot count showed 265 votes were missing from the recount. Both parties signed off on this. Incumbent Chief Chad Smith is now claiming victory, while Bill John Baker says Smith is, quote, trying to steal this election. Our court confirmed that the recount was fatally flawed. Smith officially won the election by seven votes, but a hand recount showed Bill John Baker won by 266 votes. As Smith's appeal continues, he believes the inventory of absentee votes confirms he won the election. So the long and short of it is this. The only time all the ballots were counted, I was elected principal chief. In Sunday's count, officials did not tally the votes for candidates, only counting the number of ballots. Smith says now they're waiting for a final decision from the court. Well, we're riding a roller coaster, and of course we're at the top now, and we're very happy. And we, and what's even more important, we wish I hadn't been a roller coaster because we know these numbers are good. Baker's campaign questions why there are more ballots than envelopes those ballots were mailed in. Smith's campaign says that's a small discrepancy. Baker would not go on camera, but release this statement. Quote, Bill John had the most votes election night until Terry Rainey, a man who made a million dollars off of all of the elections that Smith won, went into the vault that contains the ballots. The statement continues, quote, these people cannot be trusted. Smith has no shame. Michael Braun, a volunteer for Baker's campaign, wants the recount to stand. That should be the final tally of the election. There should be no further questions. That's what the Constitution says. He believes votes were tampered with, despite election officials' latest findings. I believe Bill John Baker's the true winner. Next, the Supreme Court will meet to make a decision on the election. In Tahlequah, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.